everyone, it's Miss Teresa from the Ridgewood Public Library. Let's give a big hello to all the girls, hello to all the boys, and hello to all the grown-ups. Thank you for joining me today for story time. Our stories today are about things that begin with the letter M. M is for M is for mask, something we're all wearing to these days. M is for mittens. It's getting chilly outside. We'll be wearing mittens on our hands soon. M is for moon. M is for milk. M is for mommy. M is for me. So I made an M that looks like a moose. Our stories today are about moose. All I did was I made some antlers and some ears, a fuzzy nose and some eyes and a little bit of his tongue. You can see that's something you could do at home. Just cutting out a letter M and adding a few things to make it look like a moose. My little moose is funny and brown. He jumps quickly up and he flops back down. He bends to the left and he bends to the right. Then my funny little moose runs out of sight. Moose are really fast runners and they're excellent swimmers. Moose weigh a thousand pounds or more. And male moose grow antlers and they use them to protect them from predators. And female moose might use their legs to kick if someone's coming by that they don't know. It's not a friendly animal that might be in their area. Moose like to eat twigs and branches. They don't like to bend down because that's hard for them when they're so big and heavy. They like to eat from trees and shrubs and they live in cold climates because they have fur that keeps them nice and warm. Let's get started with a book about a moose. Moose Tracks by Karma Wilson. Jack E. Davis was the illustrator. There are moose tracks on my back porch. I'm not sure how they got there. One thing I'm fairly certain of, last night those tracks were not there. There is bear hair on my lawn chair but a bear came by to eat. When we barbecued our supper, he shed hair there on his seat. Bear hair, I remember, but who left all those moose tracks? There are moose tracks in my kitchen and I'm itching to know why. Some friends dropped over yesterday, but not one moose stopped by. There are nutshells on the counter, but a chipmunk left them there. He was making nut fudge sundaes, yum yum, for the two of us to share. Nutshells, I remember, but who left all those moose tracks? There are moose tracks on the den floor. How they got there, I can't say. Last night there were no moose tracks and they're everywhere today. There are feathers on my carpet. But my best pal is a goose. We were playing hokey pokey and her feathers fluttered loose. Feathers, 
I remember. But who left all those moose tracks? There are moose tracks in my bathroom. It's an all out mystery. If only I know who left them, he could mop them up for me. There are mouse prints in my bathtub. And my maid, she is a mouse. And she's always leaving wee prints when she tidies up my house. Mouse prints, I remember. But who left all those moose tracks? There are moose tracks in my bedroom. They are spattered all around. Noisy moose feet should have clattered, but I never heard a sound. There are wood chips in my guest bed, but a beaver spent the night. He got hungry and the bedpost looks so good he took a bite. Wood chips I remember, but who left all those moose tracks? There are moose tracks on my back porch, in my kitchen, and my den, in my bathroom and my bedroom. Moose tracks everywhere I've been. Who on earth left all those moose tracks? I'm quite sure I'll never guess. I'm a moose and I don't make a mess. Silly moose. She left all the moose tracks all around her house. And the poor little mouse may need to do a lot of cleaning today because moose tracks are everywhere. It's a cute little story about moose tracks. Who knew? Who left all those tracks behind? Now we're going to do a song called One Little Finger. Okay, just like we used our antlers. Antler fingers. Okay, we're going to use one little finger for this song and we're going to touch different parts. We're going to touch our head, our nose, our chin, whoops, chin, nose, okay? And arm maybe too. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, point your finger down, put it on your head, head. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, point your finger down, put it on your nose, nose. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, Point your finger down, put it on your chin, chin. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, point your finger down, put it on your arm, arm. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, point your finger down, put 
it on your shoulders, shoulders. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger. Tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, point your finger down. Put it on your arm, put it on your chin. Put it on your nose, put it on your head. Now it's time to wave goodbye. But I'm not done. I hope you like that little song about one little finger. You can add your feet, your legs, whatever you'd like. Okay, one more book, and this one is called Soaked. And this is by Abby Cushman, and this is about a bear and some other animals, including a moose. Look at all this rain. Everything is dreary. Everything is drenched, and no one is happy. Not that badger. Not that bunny, not that hula hooping moose. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And especially, not me. Because the rain ruins everything. Ice cream cones sand castles, cashmere sweaters, all the things that bears love. What's that you say? Why don't we just go inside my cave until the rain stops? What do you see over here in the tree? The hula hoop. Oh yes, great idea. <gasps> Look at the moose. He's using his hula hoop and going whoosh, 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 whoosh. He's having lots of fun. Doesn't feel crowded at all in here. All the other animals are standing on the side of the cave watching the hula hoop moose having fun. And sure, I'd love to use my umbrella, the blue one with the bumblebees on it. But everyone looked and no one can find it. Badger said she found her blue bumblebee umbrella, but not mine, blah. I guess I'll just go sit on my log and wallow. They're back outside. Blah! <gasps> Everyone's pointing up and looking at what? Another hula hoop got stuck in a tree. Wait a minute! We can't have a hula hooping moose without a hula hoop, can we? Great, we got it. Now I can return to wallowing, wallowing on my... Bunny saved the day for moose. But Bear is still sad. Whoa! Me? Try the hula hoop? It's around there now. Seriously? Oh, okay, fine. But I won't have any fun. There, I did it. Totally unfun, just like I thought. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need a moment to myself. Whoosh, 
splish, splash, 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 splish. <gasps> and Bear has a smile on his face. He's using a hula hoop. And the other animals are watching. Who's having fun now? Look at all this rain. Everyone is splashing. Everyone is soaked. They all have a hula hoop. And it's so splishy and sploshy, silly and soggy. It's so, oh, did the rain stop? Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Blah, too sunny. And what do we see? Hula hoops. Probably a little bit too warm for Bear now since the sun came out. He'll probably go back into his cave to stay nice and cool. And who will have fun with the hula hoops? The moose. The end. That's soaked. Another cute story about some animals sharing their things with other animals. Hula hoops and the rain and umbrellas. Their cave. Lots of fun ways to spend the day together, even in the rain. So I hope you enjoyed our stories today and maybe you'll make your own little moose with a letter M. Wave goodbye with my antlers and thank you for joining me today for story time. Have a great day everyone.